Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to EU4 and the Rise of the Philippine Tiger Campaign. So, last episode, we went ahead and annexed Butuan and Madias, and I was looking at the save between episodes, and I think our plan is going to be, once our truce is up with Manila, we can't get a claim on him, sadly, so what we're going to do is we're going to no-CB Manila as soon as we get, as soon as our truce is done, this won't be too much of an issue. But that will get us into a war with Tondo without having to fight Ming. And if we look at Ming, yeah, they don't like me. They want, uh, they're hostile. They have strategic interests. They want all of my land. Now, they may be pretty upset if we actually do this. So we are, and like I said, we are going to take a little bit of time in between the end of this war and the next war so we can get everything cored but that is going to be our plan for the most part do i have claims on everything i can on tondo i do that is fine let's go back to the diplomatic view i hate that view the claim here correct yes we do so at this point let's see we're allied to brunei which is kind of unfortunate I think we're going to build a spy network on Kutai. They don't have any allies, and if we can conquer Kutai, that gives us a nice little foothold here into Borneo. We may look to do that this episode. We may not. So, without any further ado, let's just get right back into it, shall we? We did take a bit of a beating, army-wise. We are well below our force limit, so we're going to build two units. We don't have very much manpower left, which isn't a good thing. But we are going to need to keep our armies around here for the most part. Now, how amazing would it be if uh, Kutai actually was able to conquer Tondo, or at least part of Tondo, because then we could take it from Kutai without having to fight Ming. That would be cool. That would be very cool. So Brunei likes us. Um, I'm not going to worry about improving that uh, relationship too much. Same with uh, Sulu. Not going to worry about that one too much either see what should our next step after that be we can't really get a claim is the thing hmm hmm i think uh we may end up having to uh pull several no cb wars in the next uh 20 or so 20 or 30 years at this point as much as i don't like to um man this is wow all of our ships are damaged we're completely out of sailors which sucks but I suppose it is what it is. It's the price we pay for uh, winning that war and having to use our navy quite a bit. Those two heavies served us incredibly well. I don't think we would have been able to win that last war without those two heavies giving us the slight edge uh, with the help of Sulu's fleet. We are down to 10 ships, though, which is not good. We need to build more ships. Can't get a claim on Kutai. Hmm, what are we going to be able to do? I mean, if we can start colonizing, we can colonize this, but, uh, you know, we are going to take tech. We're going to take admin tech right now, even if it is a little expensive and we could do some developing. I think we need to start getting towards that um, admin tech five so we can get, <clears throat> excuse me, so we can get our uh, first idea group up and running. Now, let's check. How old is our heir? 12. So in another three years, we're going to have our current king abdicate in favor of the new heir. Let's see, we can make a state here, so we're going to. No reason not to. We don't have the admin to core it just yet, but we are getting a decent bit of admin every month. All right, now we have grown large enough that our nobility estate needs some land. What are we going to give him? Um, Hold on, how much is this? This is six. This is nine. Um... I'll wait a couple of months until we can uh, give the nobility Butuan. Well, it is a gem-producing province. Let's see, that's spices. This is... You know what? We'll just give them Panay since it produces wheat. And uh, the wheat trade good, if we look at it, contributes to land force limit. So that's kind of nice. So once the autonomy starts going down there, we should get a little extra land force limit from that. That would be very nice. Cool. Would it be very nice indeed? I forgot to change my settings on Discord. Apologies for that. Do, do, do. There we go. Back to the episode. So, 
Butuan Separatists, Madhya Separatists, Animus Zealots are not really that much of an issue. We will core this, because like I said, it is a gym producing province of our culture and religion. Ah, oh, it's tempting. I really do want to drop like at least one point of dev in here to get the devastation down. But I think we will hold off on that. Now our truce is up with Manila is the thing, but we do need to kind of recover our army a or our navy a bit at this point. So we're gonna have to basically take some time and get some sailors back, sadly. Well, I say sadly, it's actually not too bad. We do need sailors though. I think we can stop paying the army at this point. Oh yeah, look at that. We're making almost three ducats a month now, which is fantastic. We'll go ahead and hire the trade efficiency advisor. Get ourselves a little extra diplo. He won't really pay for himself right now since the Philippines isn't the most profitable node in the world by any means. But hey, look at that. Our whole navy is back up and running. So we get 10 sailors a month, which isn't bad. I'm going to tell these three barks to go protect trade out in Canton again. Because that will make us a decent bit of money. We'll still get 7 sailors every month, so that's not too bad either. Yeah, the, eh, the devastation here is awful. Let's look at the estates, shall we? Um, our nobility are super pleased. We could grant a generalship, but that's a terrible idea. Could get 17 ducats from the merchant guilds. You know what I think we'll do? I think we'll uh, encourage local, encourage development, and then just put one point of military in, since military is the technology we are ahead on right now, which is which is good. It definitely helped out in that last war that we had good mil tech. We're getting pretty close to being able to take Diplo Tech 3, which I definitely want to do. So, let's see, when uh, 63, that's not too bad. It'll probably be a little after that since the uh, tech penalty for Renaissance is still going up. Yeah, we're not making too bad money. Too bad of money now, I would say. We could mothball the rest of these ships, actually. That's Now, that's a thought. No, I'd rather keep them ready to go at any time. We are starting to get plenty of sailors back now, so it's not too big of a deal. We're getting eight a month. That's some weird math. I'm not even going to question it. Uh, yeah, neither of you guys get anything. Don't care. No one gets Butuan. Uh, Brahmins? Yeah, I'll give you 17 ducats just so you don't uh, crash my economy a bit. I would appreciate you not crashing the economy. Getting back up there on manpower. So, yeah, I mean, this is going to probably be a little bit slower, at least here at the start. I would, like I said, I would very much like to know CB Manila very quickly because then we can get Tondo and Maragliano involved. Let's see how it, what's our force limit sitting at now? 10, lovely. So, we'll build two more infantry to get up to our force limit, which is awesome. Let's look at our missions. Uh, we've, we're probably pretty close to expanding Cebu at this point. I don't remember exactly what our starting development was, but I'm pretty sure we're fairly close to getting an extra three dev in our capital, which will be nice. Yep, that is always nice. And then it, uh, the whole capital area gets, uh, construction and development cost for the next 25 years, which is pretty sweet. I think we still have the bonus from, uh, let's see... Uh, da -da. I'd rather have the merchant guilds, but that's admin. Um, we'll just do that for now. I don't want to spin the admin. <clears throat> so we'll slow down our uh, diplotech a little further, but that's not too bad. Let's see. Yes, we do have growing economy until 1479, so we will get some construction cost reduction whenever we get the cash for it, eventually. I'm going to go ahead and pull our general off of this army. He does have fire damage, which is pretty nice. He doesn't have any offensive skills, though. Any offensive pips whatsoever, which is pretty bad. Okay, so our air has now turned 15. So ex this is exactly what we're going to do. We're abdicating. 666, lawgiver, boom. 20 legitimacy, 50 prestige. Ouch. But we have a 666 ruler now so what we're gonna do here do we need the extra trade and tax um i don't 
think so. I think we're going to go for the core creation cost since we're about to conquer a large part of uh, the Philippines. Now, we do have some separatists around to deal with, so that's kind of an issue, but it's not the end of the world. Now, I am going to go ahead and burn all of our mill power to get our legitimacy somewhere decent. Because having zero legitimacy is not good. Not good whatsoever. So we'll be trying to get that up as quickly as possible. But look at that. Look at that. We now get 8, 9, 11 monarch points every month. We have a 0, 2, 2 queen, which is pretty bad. Once we get back up to positive prestige, we will disinherit this guy. So we can get a better era. 1, 2, 1 is pretty garbage at this point. Ah, that was a chance to actually break things off cleanly with Brunei. Hmm. Hmm. Well, now we'll have to wait. So, that's not... I guess it's not the end of the world. Oh, we get so many more Monarch points every month now. It's so good. I'm so... Oh, finally. Welcome, Raja Tupas I. May you live long and bring peace and prosperity to the realm. Well, not peace so much, but bring prosperity to the realm. Damn it. We need some prosperity. Everyone needs prosperity. If we look at the uh, devastation map mode, we actually have some devastation around. There's some prosperity in Tondo. We don't have positive stability is the main issue. So where are these guys going to rise up? Probably Panay. Which is fine. So we'll go ahead and raise the maintenance on the army. We are not making very much money right now, sadly, which is not very good. What happened? The economy. Why? Why did our economy die? Oh, because, yeah, I know why. Never mind, silly me. We're going to go ahead. We did get some legitimacy, actually. Oh, there we go. We are getting positive legitimacy. I'm going to hit strengthen government one more time to get up to 50, and then we're just going to leave it alone from there. 50 is not bad. Oh, I want to get I want to get to our first idea. Hey, we got some yearly legitimacy. That's cool. <laughs> that is always nice, I suppose. I do want to do some development in Visyas, our capital. Hmm. Let's see. So the Madhya Separatists are probably going to fire any day now. Uh, wait one more month, hopefully, so we can try and get a better general. A 0031 is pretty garbage. Okay, they did not fire. Good, 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 good. Let's go ahead and roll for a general. And uh, we are going to be pulling the name directly out of the subs here on the channel. I'm thinking about potentially changing this in the future, but I will have to... Uh, yeah, I'll have to give it some more thought for sure. So let's go to subscribers, shall we? Load more. Wait for it. Load more. That's starting to get pretty long. I'm going to have to implement a randomizer here right directly. All right, so here we go. Do, 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 boom. Cade Gunstream, welcome to the Admirals and Generals Club, my good man. There we go. Let's hope. Let's hope you are a solid general. What can we look for? Between three and eight, so it's eight pips. So it's not great, but we can hope. Oh, we got really lucky. Cade, you are amazing. Welcome. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful general. Fantastic. I expect you to slaughter all of our enemies. 0530. No siege, which is kind of meh, in my opinion, but it's whatever. So the devastation's almost gone here, which is nice. Yeah. So we still need to develop uh, Visyas for some more institutions, for Renaissance specifically. We're making 0, .0 ducats a month right now. Which, I, which is really strange, in my opinion. We'll probably be seeing that uprising from Madhyas right directly. I think I am going to pump, pump two points of development into the capital, just to kind of help increase our monthly income slightly. We could mothball the fleet. Let's mothball the fleet. I didn't want to, but that it, we are up to half a ducat a month now. All right, there we go. Add, wow, they actually did fire in Panay. We got kind of lucky there. Ooh, that was costly. Oh, that was costly. But we've dealt with those rebels now. And since this, since Cade has three maneuver, we will reinforce pretty quickly. Yeah, we'll get a thousand back every month, which is pretty nice. 
So we now have a bunch more sailors, but we need some money is the main issue right now. So we're going to build barks. We're going to build two barks and add those to our fleet. We will need some more transports as well. Let's see how are we All right, we're doing better on the money front. We have plenty. Yeah, there we go. So a couple more months. Our heir is infertile. All the more reason to uh, disinherit him as soon as possible. Get out. <laughs> you are terrible. Once we get back to positive prestige, we will absolutely be disinheriting this guy. Animus Zealots potentially can rise up, but we can do some uh, estate interactions. Uh, interact. Uh, we can do some estate interactions now. There we go. I, had a, I don't know why I was struggling on that. Um, we actually can't do anything with the Brahmins. We can do stuff with the nobility, which is nice. We'll grant a generalship. We can't quite demand, uh, get 150 mil power, but I will still take that 100 military power. That's fine. Grant monopoly charters. We'll, we'll take those 16 ducats now. What we can do, though, is give the Brahmins, let's see, I guess, I don't really want to give them that good of a province. I mean, for now, we'll give them this, so that we can actually use our state interactions. Now, that's pretty solid. Unfortunately, so we're going to go ahead and dismiss this, uh, eh, meh, general at best. We have a 4021 out from our estate, which is pretty solid. A little early for those, uh, fire pips, but still not the end of the world. Got some admin out of that. We're going to go ahead and lower army maintenance for the time being. We will pull this general off. Oh, he even got uh, Glory Seeker, extra prestige, and uh, army tradition, which is awesome. Oh, Cade. Cade, I expect you to win many, many battles for us in the upcoming years. Why is there so much unrest here? This bothers me. This bothers me so much. Partially legitimacy. Interesting. Yeah, it's just separatism. Massive amounts of separatism. Oh, we don't have any tolerance of the true faith, do we? Yeah, we don't really have much tolerance of the true faith at all. Well, we have a humiliate rival, CB. Well, no, we, d we don't. They don't like us, which is fine. We're still going to be no CBing these guys, but we need to recover a little bit more now after those rebels. Hopefully the Animus Zealots don't go ahead and fire. That would be quite annoying. I don't think we'll see the Butuan Separatists fire if it comes right down to it. I'm, you know what? To hell with it. We're just going to raise autonomy so we don't even have to worry about that. I would like to raise autonomy here as well, but since the unrest is already pretty low, I'm not super worried about it. We are losing some of what little innovativeness we had. I'm not super concerned about it. We're falling behind on Miltech a little bit. Who has Miltech? Let's check, shall we? Tondo has five. I have five. Manila has five, Brunei has five, Kutai has five, Sulu has four, these guys have five. Who has Tech Six? Who has Miltech Six? Let's find out, shall we? It's not you guys. No, no Miltech Six around there. Um, ah, Lana has Miltech Six. Interesting. We could have just used the ledger, but you know what? I like clicking around the map sometimes, guys. I find it amusing. And it also lets me see what's going on in the rest of the world. Like, this is a mess. Ayutthaya has fallen. That's crazy. What is happening? All right, so we have plenty of sailors now. So I'm going to go pull these ships back, and we're going to group them up with the two new light ships that we just got. And we're going to see what to do with them. Ah. Select the ships. Thank you, game. So we can protect trade. Philippines, uh... It's less. Let's see. Canton. What about privateering? How much could we get? Not a lot, still. We could privateer Canton, but I don't think that's going to be super viable. I would... Yeah, that would just piss Ming off, and I don't really want to piss Ming off right now. So we'll just go uh, protect trade in Canton for the time being. Ming still hates us, so we'll drop a diplomat over in Ming for the rest of time. We're at force limit, which is awesome. Yep, we're just trying to build up some naval forces at this point. So we're going to need 
I, don't, I want to get some buildings coming in, but we just don't really have much in the way of money right now. I think we're going to go ahead and fire this trade efficiency guy. We will hire the national unrest guy for sure. That will help here. Ooh, speaking of money, but at the same time, let's get some prestige coming back. So we can get closer to having zero prestige once again. Yeah, I don't think we will be seeing these this uprising anytime soon. All right. Well, I think we are in a very good spot at this point. So I th this is where we are going to go ahead and wrap things up for today. So as always, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in, spending a little part of your day here. It is greatly appreciated. If you guys are enjoying the series, please do remember to drop a like down below as it really helps the channel out and subscribe for more grand strategy content in the future. My name is Ori. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and we'll catch you in the next one.